All right, there's Jarhead, and this is how we do things around here in Temple Hills. One way to get her off this trailer. Wow, where do I begin? Back in 2017, a friend of mine sent me a Facebook Marketplace ad for this 1968 M715. We did not need another project. We had just started working on the Cherokee. But I couldn't resist, so we drove over to see it. And... It was a mess. The floor was rotted out. The guy used it as a mud truck. The dash plates were robbed from it. No title. We sold the engine out of it, the axles out from under it. And decided, you know, eventually we were going to build this thing. This is where we are so far. I got rid of that hideous bumper. I needed to find the serial number, so I had to remove the whole fender and the inner fender. So we can get to her serial number. This small block Chevy will be sold once we prove that it runs and get it yanked out of here. We're going to put a Cummins diesel in it. She's been beat, but she will be great. This poor thing was trashed by the previous owners. Somebody robbed her dash plates, which is why I had to go to all that trouble to get her serial number. goes all the way through. The rust isn't really that bad. Gas tank redneck style. That'll come out. In the rear, she's sitting on 42s. She will get 44s all the way around. The bed will be bobbed to about right here. For departure angle. Can't wait to see her come along. We got our work cut out for us.
we didn't know what direction we were going to go with it at that time. We didn't know if we were going to make it just a rat rod, something to take to Jeep events as a showpiece, if you will. And then it got forgotten about, pretty much. It sat in the corner of our property for a while, and we finished building the Cherokee. Then we tore my Jeep apart and started rebuilding that. So poor Jarhead took a back seat. Then finally, I kept telling Kenny, you need something to wheel. You need something to wheel. Because he had sold his Jeeps when we first got together because he said he liked riding with me better so he could sit there and talk with me. So he sold his Jeeps. Well, I told him, just wait till we're married 10 years. You might change your mind on that. Well, just so happens that we were married 10 years on April 27th. So I called that. Why are you being shy? You don't get that camera out of my face. <laughs> I'm going to shove it up your freak. Uh, <laughs> so what you doing? What's all the noise? It's not work. just it's not just bolt on stuff, huh? Hate and body work. The tube work is easy. Didn't take what to get it rolling th three two week three weeks. But all this crap here is killing me. So what you got going on back here? Show me a little bit. Trying to make it look like an M715, but it's not. So what is that, removable? Yeah, because the powder coater winds. Can't have Bondo in it. Nope. So it's all got to be metal. Because of whiny powder coater. She goes, I can't do that. It's got Bondo in it. It'll melt. So, and at least it'll be all little pieces. So we can handle it. So the only thing I won't be able to powder coat myself is the chassis because my oven is not long enough, but I'll be able to powder coat everything else. All these body pieces. And that's a, oops, I changed I, my mind. So. It happens. At least it's not carpentry. I can weld it back. Then you got to do it again over here. happen to live near airport so every video has aircraft noise in it a little fabrication gonna be needed on that tailgate too huh it's not too rough but it's, it's got a good dent right there I'm sure it'll have bigger dents than that when it's all said and done I've seen you drive and the floor and all that. So this piece right here is actually the Cherokee's original fender. So it's been passed on to Jarhead. Part of it, should I say. And then another little part of it up here. Just so it looks nice and Professional and flowy. flowy. All right, so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to end this particular video, and I figure what better way than to do a walk around of Jarhead the way she sits right now. So, say hi. Um, so we pushed her out, so she's not in this shaded carport, and you might be able to see a little bit better and. We'll pass it over to Kenny and I'll walk around and pass it over to Kenny. I got lights. <laughs> and we'll uh we'll go from there. So I'll turn the camera around and I'll be right back. Alright. Here she is. I'll just do a quick around and then I'll get Kenny to tell you what has been going on.
she's getting there. Starting to look like something. Okay, where you want to start, babe? Oh, you got, let me see the camera. Are you ripping? Oh, definitely ripping. Absolutely. Marvin. <laughs> Now it's the slow, the slow and tedious part, which I'm not a fan of. The tube work would have had it rolling in probably three weeks. It's Two or three that, weeks, something like that? Yeah, it's not that bad. But all this freaking body work, I don't like body work. Yeah, so. Making all these little edges and trim pieces. Just take so much freaking time. Still got a patch hole. There's a big hole. <laughs> yeah, You're floor, looking forward to the floor, right? Not really. But did get the Adam's drive shaft in there. Two piece. Nice. Since the transfer case is way back there. And the motor's in my lap. Yeah, I'm anxious to see what the floor turns out like because that's going to be a work of art it's going to have to be it's so tight in there i don't know if you can tell but he's already had to cut these headers apart and reposition them and weld them back together because they were they were right out here so he had to shoot them down just to make it work yeah trying to make all this functional of course the top of it was totally rusted and gone so yeah, and for all the purists out there thinking that we should have just restored this, there was nothing left to restore. It was rotted out. It would have all been new anyway. So that's why we decided to turn it into a buggy. So if you purists are upset with us, too bad. Go find one and... Do it yourself. Exactly. <laughs> the tailgate functions... Oh, and I did do, I had the thoughts about making a, uh, and I probably still will, kind of put this in there for options. We wanted to make a carrier for the bikes when we go to Utah to ride them on Hell's Revenge or something. Yeah, we or, have a couple of hilarious things that we plan on taking out on trips with us and hopefully not kill ourselves on those. And I considered putting a little tow boom here coming off. And then I could use that for a cat. I just stole that idea from Cody what was it? Cody McDonald. Cody McDonald. Yeah. I don't think he has it anymore on the back of his it's removable on his. I don't think he's put it on there no more. I think he's more of a buggy now. He probably got tired of rescuing people. <laughs> Took it off. That's the bad thing. Yes. Everybody's going to expect it. Yeah, I've got to figure out where to mount the battery. A lot of sheet metal work. That's gonna. Yes. Yeah, so in the next video, hopefully there'll be a lot more to show you. Some of this little tedious stuff, you wouldn't be able to tell that we've done anything because it is a lot of work. I got the oh, he does have his little lights. Okay. Hopefully they'll go right in there. And not hit the tire. Yeah, because look, they got this long. If it does, yeah. Put LEDs in it or something. Yeah. So there you have it. What we've done so far. And give you a, a peek at what we're doing. We will get another video out as soon as there's enough done where it looks like we've done something. And uh, thanks for watching.